So that was a student that went to use the teacher's phone because the teacher allowed them to use it. And he noticed that the teacher had a group chat going on. And while the student looked inside the group chat, he noticed that these teachers was talking real reckless about the students, even using racial language. But I want you to hear this, this quick clip of what this young brother had to say. They racist, all of these folks racist. That goes to show that every time when he was letting them know that they was um, being racist to him, that it was true when the principal was saying that it wasn't, it had to be true for you to put this in a group chat. So as you heard, which is something that we hear all the time, racism uh, being used against black students. And many of you talk about, you know, oh, Phil, will y'all present these stories or, you know, all you guys, but, but what is the solution? What is the solution? So what I'm going to say in my commentaries, I'm going to literally start giving a act because I give solutions in every commentary, but I'm going to make sure to emphasize the word solution. Okay. So solution time. Here we go. You hear because what's the solution? What's the solution? Here's the solution. African American people, black people, whatever you want to call yourself today. I don't know. You you calling yourself hashtags, which is not actually recognized, but anyway, whatever you call yourself, the solution to this would be getting together with other black people in your town, pooling your resources together in a group economics way and creating either homeschool groups taught by teachers that we know in our community, or we pool our money together and create schools. I would say create the schools, pool our money together and do that. That way we don't have our children being exposed to racism. Because as long as our children keep going to public schools with 75% of the teachers that are hired are white women that's done by design, we know what's going on. Then you have the race soldiers in the schools. It happens over and over and over and over and over. Like, have you understood that that's just how it's going to be? You can fight against it. They all going to say they apologize and they don't tolerate discrimination and all things. They all say the same thing, but does anything happen out of it? No, racism isn't criminalized until racism is criminalized. It's going to be the only time that you will see maybe some change because people going to jail behind racism. So until racism criminalized, we have to create schools for our children or you could on an individual level, create homeschool. Like I was so proud of my cousin, his wife homeschools their five children. I, I say, yes. I say, I'm so proud of you. I, I was telling my cousin wife, Oh, I'll say I'm proud of you because you're not exposing your children to what you've seen in this video. That is the solution folks. That's the solution. Create schools or homeschool. Now, so don't say Phil didn't give a solution. All he's doing is just talking and making videos because really the solutions are common sense. I mean, I always tell people a solution to a problem is whatever this problem is, try to do the opposite of it. It's usually a solution to any problem. But as long as we keep sending our children to those schools and, and, and one of the teachers talks about that same kid's um, phallus, was talking about what he's doing with it. Don't even know what he's doing. Talking about another child that was, got pregnant. Just making all kind of greasy comments. Like, like, why are you talking about that teenage boy's phallus? But we already know how a lot of them get down. We know how many of these stories come out every week of these teachers laying down with children. Uh, how many, and we know the majority of the ones who's doing it, we know exactly who they are. Y'all can put in the comment section and tell me who they are for people who don't know, but no homeschool or creating our own schools is the only solution. It's the only solution to this problem. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. Like I said, this did happen in Alabama. I want to make sure I put that out there. Alabama, Mississippi, those two states have been a hotbed of racism, white supremacy for black people for sure. Um, but you can still, take charge of our kids education because every child who is either homeschool or in a school that we have created, those children excel more. There's no school to prison pipeline. Um, those children are happy and because we're going to teach our children what's right. And we're going to have love for them because we understand them. So stop sending your kids to schools 
that's exposing them to all kind of racism. It just doesn't make sense on our part as parents.